What would your Top Gun name be? <laughs> oh man, uh, they don't. Slider. Yeah, slider. Love it. Um. <laughs> Heading into the 2023 college baseball season and projecting out for the 2023 MLB draft, we knew it would be a class stacked full of talent. Preseason, there was really two names that were talked about as having the potential to be drafted number one overall, with outfielder from LSU Dylan Cruz being the favorite and starting pitcher from Tennessee Chase Dolander being the runner-up. But there's another guy at Louisiana State University, one of the six Tigers that were named to the preseason top 100 college prospects list that is absolutely dominating this year and is making his case to be the number one overall pick in the July draft. In his 53 and a third innings pitched so far this year, he has a 17.6 strikeouts per nine, a .694 whip, and is consistently hitting 100, even 102 miles an hour with his fastball. This, is Paul Skeens. Thanks to you LSU and baseball fans for letting me know more about Skeens, predicting that him and Cruz will go one and two in the draft, <laughs> saying that Dolander has posters of Skeens up in his bedroom, and especially this one that really pointed out how good of a season he's having, and the fact that he was a two-way player at Air Force and absolutely mashed. If you're a fan of baseball, then make sure to subscribe to The Couch GM, where I'll be covering all things baseball throughout the season. And make sure to hit that bell for notifications. So let's get into who is Paul Skeens. Paul Skeens grew up around Los Angeles, California, and attended El Toro High School, which is also the alma mater for Nolan Arenado, as well as Matt Chapman. In high school, Skeens was mainly a catcher and third baseman, and by the time he reached his junior year of high school, he was quite a big catcher at 6'5", 230. During an interview, he stated he caught mainly because the high school team didn't have any other catchers, and also any catchers that could catch his velocity. As a freshman, he only topped out at 75 miles an hour. However, during his junior year of high school, after his growth spurt, he started to pitch more and in a relief role, and was topping out at 92 to 94 miles an hour. Paul had three uncles that were in the military, and above everything, he knew that he wanted to serve in some capacity. He would end up choosing the Air Force over the Navy. His goal at the time was to play four years of college baseball and then get a job in the military flying planes. Well, I think he has a future in baseball now. His freshman year in the Air Force, he batted 410 with 11 home runs and 43 RBIs with a 1.183 OPS, as well as at least one home run that was tracked at 455 feet with 109 miles per hour exit velocity to go along with his 11 saves over 26 and two thirds innings pitched with his 2.70 ERA, 1.088 whip, and 10.1 strikeouts per nine. During his freshman year in college, he was topping out at 100 miles an hour already. And as described with his 11 saves, he was the closer for the Air Force team, as well as their main catcher. And a few times he caught eight innings and then would close out the game on the mound. He would be the only true freshman named an All-American and would be a semifinalist for the Golden Spikes Award, which is the award given to the best college baseball player in the country. He was also the only Division I baseball player to have double digits in home runs and saves. Skeens would become the fifth Air Force Falcon all time to play for the USA Collegiate National Team and the first since 1980. Um, then Coach Kaz came up to me one day, he's like, I got you on the Olympic watch list. I'm like, holy cow, like this is real. <laughs> like. This is, this is coming true. In 2022 for the Air Force, Skeens was their Friday night starter, and he would pitch 85 and two thirds innings that year to the tune of a 2.73 ERA, a 1.167 whip, and again, a strikeout per nine of 10.1. At the plate, he took a bit of a step back, but still had some incredible numbers with a 314 batting average, 13 home runs, 38 RBIs, and a 1.046 OPS. Skeens would be named the John Olerud Two-Way Player of the Year, as well as again being named a first-team All-American, to go along being named the Mountain West Co-Pitcher of the Year. Air Force would also go on to capture their first Mountain West title in program history. Paul just named Tournament MVP here. You also earned Co-Mountain West Pitcher of the Year this year. How do you describe this year as a whole for you? I think throughout the year, we knew we were good. We didn't always play like that. I think we know that, but um, we got hot at the right time. And I think, you know, me earning these things is, is a reflection of our coaching and um, everything that my teammates have done to support me. After his sophomore year, he was faced with a decision to either stay at Air Force. And by starting his junior year of college there, he would be required to serve five years in the military after graduating, or if he transferred after his sophomore year, then he wouldn't have those commitments. 
Being the most highly sought after baseball player in college at the time, there was really no other option. And although he learned a lot at Air Force, including discipline and learning how to embrace the suck, it was time for him to really pursue baseball. He would end up choosing Louisiana State University over many other schools. I mean, when I say I think about it every day, how lucky I am to be here, that's not an exaggeration. I, when I uh, committed my junior year to Air Force, I knew that every two years we had a series with LSU where we came you know, to the box for a weekend. And I remember watching that my junior year. I think LSU beat them like 17 to one or something like that. Like it wasn't a good game. Uh, but I was looking forward to that series for literally two years. And the fact that I'm able to play here every weekend, practice here every single day uh, and have the support system that I do that, that comes with a, a place like this is it's such a blessing. Skeens came to LSU and using their facility was able to learn a new sweeping slider, amp up his velocity even more, and dial in his command. He's been absolutely dominant this year. The cool thing for me is I've never had anything like that uh, in my life. I've, I've used TrackMan a little bit and, you know, tracked the, the data a little bit in that sense, but I didn't understand it a lot. I didn't understand what, make, what made my stuff good and, you know, why I got hitters out. I just had no idea. And then, you know, I get here and we have all the resources in the world and then a pitching coach and, uh, you know, a, a team of like data analysts, I guess, that can interpret the data and tell me what I'm doing right Perfect. and what I need to work on all that. Um, that is, you, you know, help, just to help me develop. I, I remember throwing that bullpen um, and it, that was pretty much my first time in there too. And, yep. You know, we're on the force mount, and I'm like looking at the data, and you know, just because I think something different about landing in the into my front side differently, yeah, uh, it's creating more force and you know more velo. Aside from just the pure stuff, he says that he's learned to pitch more true to himself. He says he's pretty sarcastic in real life, so he started pitching sarcastic. He doesn't need the ump to ring up the batters; he does it himself. And as I mentioned earlier, he is on a torrid pace so far this year. Through 53 and a third innings, he has a 1.96 ERA, a 17.6 strikeouts per nine, and a .694 whip. That's nearly two strikeouts per inning. He hasn't hit so far this year, and I don't know who made that decision, but it's probably wise, because you gotta protect that arm above everything. Here was his final out against Tennessee recently. This was a sold out record setting crowd for the LSU versus Tennessee game in Louisiana. And Paul Skeens got the win going up against Chase Dolander. All right, it's time for that comparison. When putting them up side by side, it's pretty clear who the winner is here. Skeens has been absolutely dominant this year with an insane strikeout per nine, as well as really good command with only one and a half walks per nine. Dolander has regressed ever so slightly, although he still is solid, but Skeens has shown that he is the best pitcher in college baseball. Whether you're a fan of the Pirates, Nationals, Tigers, or Rangers, regardless, it's time to get excited because one of you is getting Paul Skeens. Thank you for watching and make sure to comment below your thoughts on Paul as well as the other prospects in this year's upcoming draft. Make sure to like and subscribe for more baseball content and we'll see you next time. All right guys, goodbye zone and don't forget it.